the intention of Sumeda. Many will have heard of the life of Prince Siddharth Gautama and his quest for enlightenment over 2500 years ago. According to the Buddhavansa, Chronicles of Buddha, however, the story begins earlier, many, many world cycles ago, many, many thousands of eons ago, at the time of an earlier Buddha, the Buddha. The Buddha Deepankara At the time of the Buddha Deepankara, a young man from a wealthy family called Sumeda lived in the same area. Throughout his life, Sumeda was increasingly reluctant to accept the insubstantiality of existence. Seeking liberation from the suffering resulting from life and death, he decided to give away all his wealth away and live in the mountains as an ascetic. There he practiced meditation full of energy and dedication and successfully developed high concentration. At one point Sumeda heard of the existence of the Buddha Deepankara and that this Buddha would soon visit a nearby village. The ascetic experienced a feeling of bliss upon hearing the word. Buddha and exclaimed, Buddha, Buddha, full of joy. The thought came to him. Extremely rare is it to hear the word Buddha, much rarer is it to meet a Buddha dot. Here I will plant my seeds, verily, don't let this opportunity pass. And he went to the village. He arrived early and got permission to help repair the path the Buddha would walk on during his visit. While working hard, he kept thinking Buddha, Buddha. However, before his part of the path was finished, the Buddha appeared with his retinue of monks. When Sumedha saw the Buddha, he was immediately deeply impressed by his calm and wise appearance. Then he saw, on the part of the road he was tending to, a pool of mud through which the Buddha would inevitably have to walk in order to continue on his way. Inspired by respect, Sumedha threw herself into the mud pool to serve as a human bridge and thought, Let the Buddha and his disciples walk over me, don't let them walk through the mud pool, this act will contribute to my well-being. As the Buddha approached, Sumedha became more and more inspired and the thought came to him, I have the mental ability to become an Arhant, an enlightened one, today if I want to, but it does not feel right for me to let others wander around in samsara while I could develop the energy to help all beings. What if I were to make an effort to become a Buddha just like Buddha Dipankara? When Buddha Deepankara arrived at Sumedha, he stopped, looked at Sumedha and made the following prediction. See here, this young ascetic, lying in the mud at the risk of his own life. In countless eons, he will be a Buddha in the world, just as I am now. Thus, Sumedha's intention was affirmed by the Buddha, and he and his disciples did not continue on their way, but walked respectfully around Sumedha. Reflecting on what had happened and what it would take to become a Buddha, Sumedha saw ten paramis, specific mental qualities, that he would have to develop to the utmost perfection, namely generosity, morality, renunciation, wisdom, energy, patience, truthfulness, effort, loving-kindness and equanimity. And so Sumedha became a Bodhisatta, a Buddha to be. Throughout all the subsequent lives in all those long eons, the Bodhisatta worked on his paramis, culminating in the attainment of the highest perfection of each of these qualities in his last birth 2500 years ago during his life as Prince Siddhartha Gautama.